This is one of multiple videos teaching you network programmability using Python and GNS3. In the previous video, I showed you how to use NetMiko to configure a single iOS vSwitch in GNS3. Now we'll extend the topology and configure three switches. So I've got three switches booted and configured for SSH in GNS3. And I can now configure them through NetMiko. NetMiko makes it easy. This is the configuration for switch one. Here's the configuration for switch two. Here's the configuration for switch three. If I have additional switches, I would simply configure those additional switches in the Python script. And now what I can do is create a variable that contains iOS V, layer two, switch one, switch two, and switch three. And then I can run a loop. So I can say for devices in all devices, in other words, these three switches, we're gonna to connect to those devices. And then I'm gonna run a sub loop where I create 20 VLANs on each of those switches. So it's quite a simple script, which I'll now copy. Here's my Ubuntu host. I've got a script called NetMiko1. So let's create another one called NetMiko2. And I'll paste that script in. The script is once again available on GitHub and I've referenced it below this video. So there's the script. Now before I run the script, I'll reduce the number of VLANs to five so that you don't have to watch me wait for the VLANs to run. So now Python NetMiko2, before I run the script, let's have a look at the VLANs on switch two as an example show VLAN brief. Switch two only has the default VLANs configured. Switch three show VLAN brief only has the default VLANs configured. Switch one was previously configured so it has more VLANs, so show VLAN brief. Notice it has 30 VLANs configured. But what we should notice is when the script SSHs into the switches, that it'll configure VLANs on switch one, which it's currently doing, and then it will connect to switch two and switch three and configure the five VLANs. So it's now configured the VLANs on switch one. We told that it's creating VLAN two, which will be on switch two. We can see that it's connected to switch two. So show VLAN brief. We can see that four VLANs have been configured on switch two, and now five VLANs have been configured. Show VLAN brief. There was a problem accessing switch three. Notice there's a trace back saying that there's a problem on switch three. So let's look at the code and make sure that everything looks good. So that all looks the same. Can we ping 192.168.122.73? Yes, we can, but perhaps SSH hasn't been enabled properly on the switch. So let's SSH to 192.168.122.73. Notice the connection is refused. So let's ensure that the keys are created. So crypto key generate. RSA. Let's try and SSH again. Notice we are asked whether we want to log in and we can access the switch. So let's run the script again and make sure that the VLANs are configured on the three switches. So it's currently configuring switch one. I'll speed the video up so that you don't have to watch it cycle through the VLANs again. It's configuring switch two at the moment, and now it's configuring switch three, so show VLAN brief. You can see four VLANs configured, five VLANs have been configured. 
So the script has successfully configured five VLANs on the three switches. So it was as simple as that to configure three switches with a VLANs using a very basic Python script. Now again, these scripts can be optimized, but at this point I simply want you to see that it's possible for you to configure network devices using Python. It may sound really complicated and very difficult, but actually it's not. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.